Okay, so I uh, want to talk a little bit about spelling and pronunciation in C++. Uh, it was nice that Daniela was talking about translations earlier and could see that not just C++ is complicated, but human languages as well with all these different ways plurals work. I was talking with Sandor earlier about how ambiguous English language can be. Uh, he was telling me about a book where they said always use virtual destructors and even native English speakers couldn't tell how always that was. So uh, here's the agenda uh, for this talk. It's gonna be silly. And please participate and raise your hand so I'm not just doing all this silliness up here by myself. So just to kind of start off some conversation, how do you spell your identifiers? Um, raise your hand if you use one of these styles in your code base, maybe you use them all. Camel case? Pascal case? Snake case? Lots of hands doing up for everything. I don't know if there's a name for this, I decided today to call it King Cobra case. All caps? Something else? Oh, wait, hey, I'm curious, talk to me later. <laughs> so, all caps, please don't use that if it's not a macro. If you wanna see the crazy errors that can give you, we can talk later. I've used them all, I don't have a personal preference. I used to not like snake case because it took more typing, but we read code more often than we type. And this is, I've heard is, there's been studies that say this is a lot easier for non-native speakers to understand. Something to think about. So, this talk is mostly about, I was writing a commit recently and I forgot how I like to spell things. Do I spell it like this? I'm not gonna say it out loud. Or do I spell this like this? The N here. Uh, so if you're not a native English speaker, the rules are that if you're preceding a vowel sound, not a vowel, uh, you need to use an an, an, not A, before this. And yes, I'm talking about English and American English. I have no idea if that's the rule in Britain. I could have looked it up, but it's Independence Day in the US, and as you can tell, I'm an American from Boston, Massachusetts, where we invented America, so I didn't look that up. But I'm quite sure it's true. But yes, I, um, but I, even though I did learn to speak and write in America, I try not to be the stereotype that only knows English. Um, and actually, I use some British spellings. I realized after a number of years that I spell gray like I'm from England because of reading Lord of the Rings. Um, maths makes sense because uh, mathematics is plural, but it sounds so strange in my mouth, I won't say it. And this is what Midjourney said. If I just said, give me a picture of math, I thought that was interesting. Um, I studied Latin in school. Uh, that's sort of like learning another language. At one point, I knew French. Theoretically, I can speak it if I have to. Um, when I was in the south of France running a music festival and they only spoke France and Oxy French and Occitan, somehow I could speak French, but my vocabulary is, escapes me if I don't need it. I speak German like I'm four or five years old. Anyway, um, so I try my best to not just speak English. Anyway, so um, this brings me to another kind of interesting language story. I was investigating a uh, core guideline, F15, which if you look at the discussions on it, there's lots of controversy. It's probably one of the most hard for people to wrap their heads around, even though it's supposedly a simple guideline. And so uh, while we were discussing this work, I found some links to videos of the committee talking about this, and they were using language like this. Passing a stood shared putter of a stood string. If you were an expert C++ developer or a native English speaker, would you know what a stood putter is? Sounds pretty weird. So back to the commit question. Is this, am I writing a stood atomic pool? A stood colon colon atomic pool? A standard atomic pool? An atomic pool? An STD atomic pool? An STD colon colon atomic pool? I think I use those two, but this is, I got stuck and couldn't remember what I intuitively did when I thought about it. I still can't remember what I do. I kind of want to look back at my commit history. My colleague said, please never use that one when I polled them. Thank you. Thank you very much.